Hi, welcome to the Law of Attraction World channel, the only channel you need to manifest all your desires into reality. How to manifest a specific person? This is one of the most asked questions in the community. Personally, I've always been against it. I always advise people to focus more on the kind of relationship that they want, on the love, on the feelings that they want to experience, not on the person. But people still want to manifest a specific person and they have the right to have their own experience. So here are the seven steps to manifest a specific person. Step number one, think of why do you want this person? Why? Ask yourself, why do I want this specific person and not anybody else? There could be many reasons why you want that specific person. There could be positive ones or there could be negative ones. So ask yourself, why do I want this specific person? Do I want them for love, to live a fulfilling, loving relationship with them? Maybe to get married, maybe to start a family. Those are the good things. But maybe you want them for something bad, for something negative, like uh, do you want to prove a point or do you want to take them from someone else or to take revenge or just for your ego, to satisfy your ego. In this case, if you want them for something negative, then you should think again about manifesting that specific person because karma will get you back. So that's step number one. Why do you want this person? Step number two, believe it's possible. Nothing can ruin the process of manifestation more than not believing it's possible. And it happens with a lot of people. Not only with manifesting a specific person, but with anything. If you don't believe it's possible, then you are actually blocking the process of manifestation for yourself before even starting. So you have to believe that it is possible because anything or almost anything is possible. If you believe that it's not possible or it's very, very difficult, then that's what you should work on before moving on to the next steps. Step number three, don't be in a state of desperation. Don't start from a point of luck. You like something, you need something. You are desperate to get something. So don't think of yourself as a half and you need your other half because this blocks the process of manifestation. And you can work on that by meditation. Meditate, work on your goals, use affirmations every day. Tell yourself that you are good enough every day, day and night. Tell yourself that you are good enough, that you don't need anybody, that you are worthy of love, that you are worthy of everything good in your life, that you are worthy of everything good in the world. Work on your goals. That's how you get out of the desperate state. Step number four, don't put that person in a pedestal. Don't think of them as they are out of your league. They are too good for you because this will also block the process of manifestation. Think of them as equal. Even if they are famous or rich or in a social class that is different than yours or anything because they are maybe boss or maybe they, you, you see them as too beautiful for you. You should work on that. All people, all humans are equal. We are souls living a human experience, so we are all equal. And you can work on that by visualization. Visualize yourself with them. Imagine, work on your creativity and imagine how would it be to be in a relationship with them. Maybe at home, free some space for them. Like if you sleep in a bed, take just one side and imagine that that other person is taking the other side. Uh, empty some room in your closet for them. Imagine that you are going out with them. When you are walking, imagine that they are walking with you. When you are eating, imagine that they are eating with you. Stuff like that. Visualize yourself with them. This is how you avoid putting them in a pedestal, thinking of them that they are way out of your league. Change your patterns. If you do something every day, if you do a routine, do it differently. Do it as if there is someone with you that you're no longer the only person in your life. There's someone else that you share things with. Change your patterns accordingly. Because when someone is about to come into your life, your life changes. So when you are changing your life before that person comes, you are ready to receive them. You are calling them. You are amplifying the signals that you are sending to the universe. So you're speeding up the process of manifestation. Step number five let go detach from the outcome don't stress out don't keep thinking about the fact that that person is not yet in your life 
move on. Let the universe do its job. It's not your job to know how. Stop asking questions. How are they going to come into your life? How are things to be? Just stop thinking. If you are an overthinker, then you should work on that. Do meditation, workouts, do anything that will stop you from overthinking and stressing over the fact that that person is not yet in your life. Step number six, love and take care of yourself. If you don't love yourself or if you don't love yourself enough, then nobody will actually love you. So love start with self-love and you can express your love towards yourself in doing many things like take nice warm baths, take long walks, take yourself in dates, buy yourself gifts, show appreciation and love to yourself in I don't know in there are so many ways that you can express the love for yourself we have already posted a video about self-love before love yourself before asking somebody else to love you step number seven final step show gratitude be grateful show gratitude to the universe or to God or to whoever you believe in for the presence of that person write a letter to God take a piece of paper and write dear God dear universe dear whoever thank you so much for bringing me this person thank you so much for bringing me love I am so happy and grateful that you gave me his name or her name I am happy and grateful that I am now living a loving relationship with that person Throughout the day, express your gratitude in any way you see possible. Write it in your journal as if it was really true. How grateful you are to have that person. Express gratitude. Gratitude is a magnificent tool that is underrated by many people. If you are not grateful, then you are blocking the process of manifestation. I see it and I will keep saying it over and over. Be grateful for the thing before even having it. Be grateful as if you have that person and that person will come to you. Those were the seven steps. If you like them, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And let us know what you think in the comment section. Let us know your experiences with manifesting a specific person. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.